teachers coming in that are being co-teachers alongside of the regular classroom teacher. There's an extra body in the room, but not only that, I see it as a win for the school because we have extra help, but more important, the kids have extra help. So there's two teachers in a the room, they're co-teaching, and then I see it as a, a plus, also a win for the student teacher because the student teacher now has a year um, of co-teaching experience with another teacher versus past models where a teacher comes in and observes and does some stuff and then takes over a classroom we see the learning suffer of the kids because when the regular teacher steps out and the intern steps in and takes over the classroom typically learning so, My name is Hilda Holgate and I am a student teacher here at White Center Heights Elementary. I'm with the fourth and fifth grade class. I'm working with two teachers actually. Um, Miss or Karen Lai and also Sian Sibley. So we've kind of been a trio here in the classroom. It's a fourth and fifth grade split here in Karen and my room, but then next door is all fifth graders. So while we're teaching, a lot of times we'll actually bring both classes together into one classroom. And it works out really well because with several teachers in the room, we can do a lot of work together and you know, more one-on-one -on -one time, more individual teacher and student time. Um, White Center Heights for us. Um, for one, having the whole cohort here I think has been amazing. It's definitely a support system for, you know, um, teachers to be. I remember when I was back then doing my student teacher, I was by myself at a school. I didn't know the staff. I didn't know anybody. And to see them walk through the hallway and say hi, I think the stress level and the tension level definitely was decreased. Um, the program overall, with the strengths of it that is, overall just the camaraderie, com camaraderie <laughs> of everybody working together and every Friday they got together and talked about their the pros and cons, the things they were frustrated with, the things they wanted to celebrate. Um, students. Okay, so with co-teaching, um, it's been a really valuable experience for me because I've learned how much of an impact it has on the students to be able to work in a team with another teacher, to be able to differentiate instruction and um, like kind of maximize our time together to um, make sure we're meeting the needs of the students, whereas I kind of went in with the expectation that maybe just follow my mentor teacher's lead and eventually just take over and she would maybe observe and give me feedback. Um, I think on an emotional level they've benefited because uh, a lot of kids at this school are pretty needy and don't get a lot of attention from adults at home or positive adult attention. So having two people it's easier to spread that around. So. I think that's been the biggest benefit. Also academically as well, just having more people able to help when they're struggling. Um, so it's been really nice because I've started here from the beginning of the year. We came uh, towards the end of summer and helped set up the classroom, talk about um, how the students would be split up, and I got to meet the students from day one. So we actually were just talking about the benefit of having the kids see you as a second teacher rather than when you go to do your soloing um, appearing as if you're a sub or temporary somebody just kind of taking over. It's been a really big benefit for me as the student teacher and I believe also for the students as far as an adjustment period. My name is Rob Frischholz. I'm the wellness coordinator and the principal designee here at White Center Heights. I've been here nine years. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what um, your job is as wellness coordinator, what exactly you do? Yeah, we've, um, the job was actually, job description was written by staff members. Um, we were having uh, a lot of concerns about office referrals. We had over 650 the year before I started. And so we wanted to be proactive um, and help the kids before they were getting in trouble. And so we were actually able to reduce some um, office referrals to about 250 the next year, so it was about a 70% reduction. Um, have you had much interaction with the student and intern teachers here from SPU? I have. Um, we've had uh, bi-weekly meetings and um, I've been able to be in their classrooms and problem solve issues with, with um, students and curriculum. Spent a lot of time with them. 
Um, from your perspective of the co-teaching method, how do you think it has been effective here at White Center Heights? Well, I think it really does what it was intended to do, and that's really increase student achievement. Um, there, traditionally, there was always a drop-off when student teachers took over, and, and while they were observing at first, they weren't really benefiting the students. But um, with this model, um, they've actually walked the full year with the um, teachers, and our interns have been here since before school started, and um, they went through all the, the meetings at the beginning of the year, how to get a classroom set up, all the way, and they'll be here right to the end of the school year. So they've actually um, really experienced a full year of teaching. Do you hope to have more student teachers in the future? We're lobbying really hard right now to get more, and we'd like to continue to have as many as we can. Um, the stress level of the regular classroom teacher has gone down so much knowing they have a partner, um, knowing that they don't have to be on every minute or knowing that if they're sick um, the instruction will continue. So the partnership has been wonderful and um, everyone that's done it wants to do it again. There are a lot of teachers on the staff that weren't able to do it this year. They'd like to do it as well. So I see us doing it, you know, for a while.